Mm. Yeah, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Wet fist. No, not That's, me. <laughs> That's the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is when the interview starts. You're here watching Flo with me, Tim Sheaf, you know, king in the north apparently, and the main <laughs> man, not, Phil Doyle. Not, not the king in the south. No, godfather of not strides right here. King of Cambridge. You ruled, the, you ruled the roost in Cambridge. You've been oh, on like I really don't. more roofs than any other ca person in Cambridge. The roofers have posters of you as well. What about the builders? The builders have probably topped me. But they've got posters of you apparently on their walls. I hope not. Because they, and they just you give them a lot of business from all those tiles you smash. He doesn't I smash, don't smash any he tiles. He doesn't smash tiles. I've never no, I've smashed one tile actually. And okay. I did feel bad because I've Don't I'm tell us the area soulful. because they might be able to yeah, use no, this against okay, you. No worries. Right now. But I did smash one tile. Okay. But only one in my in my years. Okay. In all my years. So Phil Doyle, when you were just Philly D, when you were a wee boy. Am I not still Philly D? You are, but you're a bit more of a Philip now. <laughs> but uh, back in the day, when you were 13, 14 years old and you started free running, why do it? Why would you bother doing this, man? Stupid. Reckless. Is it? You're crazy. Are you, not, are you fearless? Do you have fear? I do. Have you don't fear. have any fear. I don't think you have any fear, mate. I do. I, I think do. you're crazy. I do. Mental, what this guy does. More fear now, I'm growing up, I'm getting get more mm. and more fear, okay. unfortunately, I reckon. But why? I feel like I've got more to lose. Why did you start? Um, I don't really know. Well, I know what, I know how I found out about it. How I mean, did you I find out? Why I kept, you can ask yourself I, that question. Know why I ask yourself going. how you found out. <laughs> <laughs> I was on holiday in France, yes. and um, Jason Matten just happened to be there mm -hmm. in a Euro camp in Brittany. And I was, I was there the week after. Went to a little water park, yeah. blah, 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 like went to the beach, met this mm -hmm. dude called Adam from South or Northampton, one of the Hamptons, mm -hmm. not the hotel, you know that? Yep, I do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, we were walking down the beach and like he had seen Jump Britain or Jump London. I, mean, I think it was Jump Britain because Jump Britain came second, didn't it? It was Jump Britain because I started the same week after seeing that and I was in... Yeah, Jump London was first week and then it, Jump yeah. Britain. Yeah, he saw Jump yeah. Britain. So he kind of knew what free running was somewhat mm. and he was interested and then we saw Jason do a back off a wall mm. and we're like yeah wicked let's go speak to him he looks awesome he's yeah. like some hench topless weirdo doing backflips on the beach by yeah. himself and we thought that was a good idea to go and speak to him yeah and um he was you know what Jason's like he's pretty passionate yeah like, so he's he, a man he, he, yeah. he, he sold it pretty well to us yeah and then like yeah, I we went, he would. there was like a little um Oh, so you saw him, you hadn't seen Jump Britain, you saw him and no, then you no, went back. The okay. guy was with Adam, the guy I met at the Eurocamp had seen okay. it. Okay, cool. So we saw him do the backflip and we were like, he was like, oh, it's that blah, blah, it's free running. Yeah, yeah. I just watched this documentary the other day, it's pretty sick, do you want to cool. go, let's go speak to him, try it out or whatever. And then um, there was a little exercise park, you know, with like little benches and like yeah. all those pull-up bars and stuff. Yeah. So we went there and he tried to like teach us vaults. I couldn't even get over a little picnic bench like this big. <sighs> And then I actually had a little picnic bench in my back garden. Mm. And I'd like to try and vault that. When you came back, you started yeah. trying there. My older sister tried to vault the balcony on our, <laughs> on our little, um, where we were staying. Yeah. It stacked it so hard, it was so funny. <laughs> and then he, he knew people doing it in Cambridge. Mm. And he was like, oh, you're from Cambridge? Sweet, I'll, um, I'll hook you up. Gave me Owen's email address. Yeah. And um, yeah, went out and struggled to you, vault walls for about a month Then you progressed pretty quickly after that. I remember meeting you after about six months you'd been training and I already knew then. I remember saying to someone... We used to go up to Leicester. We used to go up to Leicester, meet, train with Blaine. Yeah. Um, we went to Derby quite a few times, came to my birthday. Yeah. But I remember saying to someone you were like the next David Bell, but not in like... Just at the rate you progressed in the, and how precise you were with everything. Not that your style was anything like it, but in terms of just... Like there was a period when you were just putting out content from Cambridge that was like no one other and then yeah you know and you were so young as well and I, th I think what you do between the ages of like 15 and 19 really like it triples in the power that molds you it molds you yeah. yeah and so for that period you were doing a lot you did barefoot training why, why did you train bare feet what was the uh, reason behind it I'm not sure where the inspiration came from I think it was just the idea of being able to do it without shoes. Yeah? Well, did you and think then, that that would make your touch oh, better? Or yeah, did you realise that after? Or? Yeah, I think it was kind of, in shoes, you, the, there's an option to have good touch and land things well. But <laughs> barefoot, you, you kind of have to. Yeah, like, yeah. There's no, there's no other way about it. And how long did you do that for? 
literally not that long. I think people think I train barefoot. For, everyone thinks that like, I've got <laughs> like calloused feet like Danny's hands. Yeah. I don't. It's only like six weeks maybe. Okay. I like cut my foot quite bad with glass and then put my shoes back on. And then went absolutely mental because I trained for about, yeah, like five or six weeks barefoot. Like didn't train with shoes at all that for that time. Yeah. So when I put my shoes on, I just did so many new things. And I'd it was just like, I was like, well, hold on a minute. So that was like when in Brazil they play football with a tennis ball and do keep ups. Yeah, and, and then they and get then a big they play ball. With football and they're like, oh, hold on. Oh, so that's or like, pretty. Or like people train with a weight vest and then you take the vest off and you're like, I'm so light. Yeah. Jump like seven so you, feet so high. So you committed to six weeks of that. So it wasn't just like try it, dabble in it. You like were done with it. No, and yeah. You, you put out a video of that as well. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Around Cambridge doing some 180 pre's to rails, bare feet and stuff. Yeah. No, rails surprisingly are nicer than walls, bare foot. Really? Especially round ones because it's like yeah. your foot can go. It's an the edge is the problem. Yeah. Like yeah. sharp walls, they're, they're horrible. That's true. That's interesting. You have to land on top. Yeah. And so who was your inspirations around them. Were you watching videos to, to, to begin with? Yeah, no, a was lot. It, you were on um, Blaine. Parkour.net, right? Back in the day, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember. So you were watching videos on them. Blaine, yeah. Gin, Gin and Owen from Cambridge, TCT. Yeah, but not videos, obviously. That was more like personal inspiration. Met, okay, cool. So I trained with them quite a bit. Mm. Uh, I can't remember who, who else was releasing videos back then. Mm. Obviously seeing like old school speeders videos and being like, they're, yeah. they're fucking mental. Like, speeders were really cool. What? That side clip where he goes. Down to the stairs, you know. Get on, yeah. yeah. Get on, being a madman back in the day. Mm -hmm. David Bell, do you like the David Bell? Da yeah, yeah. David they were always a bit artsy as well, which like I didn't realize at the time, but it. I just, make, I just really, I can't quite... stand that song. Lose yourself by Eminem. So. That ruined, yeah. That's <laughs> really bad, no. Yeah, but he but did yeah, do no, some gangster David rap in his videos. How did he like that? Actually, yeah, it's because he's his, his English is bad. He doesn't understand the lyrics. So he's like, yeah, just hard beat, sorted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know what else I used to watch. A lot of Blaine. Yeah. Blaine was putting out good videos. Yeah, back he in was. The day. He was. And we trained with him quite a bit in Leicester. Yeah. Um, I don't know who else was who else was filming. Danny, obviously, but it was more just beautiful gainers off high things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you you trained a lot with Danny in uh, Jenks as well. A lot more period. a lot more Danny back, back a lot more in Danny. the day. Yeah, yeah. A lot more Danny. Um was that in you'd go to Liverpool with him or he'd yeah. He, he did Cambridge Joy, which is a really cool video. Yeah, yeah he'd, he'd, he'd come down here. I think I went. I, I spent a lot more time in Liverpool than he spent here, I think. Okay. Like cool. Just because I'd, I'd go up and then I'd just, I'd plan to stay for like a few days and I'd end up staying for like two weeks or okay. something. Cool. I think one of, one of my birthdays, like people were here and I was still in Liverpool. I was meant to be back like the day before my birthday. Oh, I think really? I got back the day after. Oh, really? He was too busy like training and having fun. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Uh, and then. Time me forward, Kai moved to uh, Cambridge. Yeah. And he was like your new training partner, it seemed. Yeah, a while, yeah, no, a couple it was good years. times. Yeah, and you released a video, Long Hair Big Chief. Yeah. Did really well, really amazing video. And what was your inspiration for that, did you have? I think both of us just wanted to make a video that was just display the skill, that, that's it. Speaks for itself. I don't care about yeah, any, yeah, yeah. any of that art. Like, not that I'm. I'm not saying I'm not an artist, but none of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't care about how it's edited, like... Just show the action my, my raw as it is. Yeah. Like, show me this jazz pianist called Professor Longhair. <laughs> um, New Orleans pianist, and um, I thought the song was pretty sick. I thought it would work. Yeah. And I think it did. It did. And, um, it was a good element with the video. Yeah. And yeah, we just wanted to, a video which literally just... Simple angles, yeah. display but the But do you know what? I think that came off as art with, yeah. with the song and the way the yeah, movements yeah, yeah, were done. Yeah, no, of course, yeah, yeah. It came off as art, but it, but, it, but, but it was but the not, movement not showing a, itself, not, not in like a, cinematography. It's not action vi video like. No, 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and then Ashton Kutcher tweeted that apparently that got a lot of views. Yeah, yeah. yeah someone said that. Even that tweet that helped it out because he's like what? Or at the time, six million followers. One of the most followers on Twitter. Yeah, he was. I heard a rumour, actually I didn't hear a rumour, you told me yourself once, <laughs> but you sold, you sold your keyboard to buy a trade ticket. To go to the older shop. Is that where it for was? Tate, for Tate's birthday. I yeah. can't remember what year. Yeah. You sold your keyboard, but you still yeah. kept the computer. And I had to use, do you know about the online keyboard? What's the online keyboard? Well, you've got a mouse. And yeah. You've got a little online keyboard, so you click each letter. Yes. You to click each Long. <laughs> Long, man. <laughs> but it was, it was worth it. To type right. out your words and then... And space. Yeah. Oh my god. Online I mean, keyboard. I couldn't afford to take a present, just just like I just went and it was good fun. That is commitment to football <laughs> right there, kids. That's the passion. 
I didn't have to yeah. flog it. Someone I knew needed a keyboard. It wasn't. It wasn't like yeah. I went out, yeah. went to the market square, set up my own little. Did store you buy it back, keyboard. or did you go and buy a new one at some point, or what? Oh, I got one. I think my mum got one. Got me one from work or something. Oh, like that. that's nice of her. Yeah. I think anyone my, my that's that committed, well. yeah, Treats yeah, very well. That's amazing. Um, and then you've been on quite a few trips in the time of your times. Do you remember, is there any that stand out for you as fun trips? You went to Holland with Danny. You've been to America a few times. Yeah. I've I don't know. I'm bad. I'm bad at picking favorite memories. You don't. Have. When it comes no, favorite, to favorite, what's anything that stands out? It's like anything that stands favorite out. Favorite is a strange word to use, I guess. But just I don't know. Mexico. Mexico was fun. Okay. What did Mexico you do there? Why were you in Mexico? That was when um, we went over to shoot a music video for J Lo and Oh, we seen in Yandel, who were like massive in Me in like Latin America. Mm -hmm. But no one, no one in this like Western world really yeah. has any idea who they are. Yeah, no Latin Americans in the Western world, but yeah. With Jenks, no one has and, any idea. Yeah, Jenks, Pip, Solomon, uh, who else? Travis Wong, Josh Yates is is is, is that Josh, Josh Yates, the ginger guy from LA? Is yeah, that his yeah, name? yeah, yeah. Oh, terrible. Yeah, he's, he's not gonna be happy when he watches he's, this. Well, he's pretty Josh killing Yates. it now. That guy, he's alright. Yeah, he's he's, he's, a, he's a lovely bloke. Who, yeah. who else was he there? Doubled Stanley recently. King. King David. King David. Okay, cool. Travis was, was there, but I he was, was supposed to be there. Travis was our like parkour choreographer, mm. and then Bo Casper Smart. Okay. Did an odd name, Casper, like some crumb yeah. dancer. Yeah. He was the choreographer. He was, he was dating J Lo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a bit of a joker. He like turned the sirens on to go back to the hotel. Because we, we had police escort. Because you know Mexico is pretty fucking mental. Yeah. And obviously they're like they're like big people in the world. Like they might get kidnapped. Okay. So we had like police escorts. And yeah. we were, we were, when we were like scouting, because me, Ben, I think just me, Ben and Pip went first with Travis and we like found locations to do shit yeah. before everyone else got there. And um, yeah, went to Zara. We all like just got some sorbet. He just like spent like an hour in Zara, bought loads of clothes and then turned the sirens on on the way back to the hotel. We drove mm. along the side of the road. Oh, <laughs> ben really? was sitting there filming it on his iPhone. Like. Oh, really? It's pretty cool, but I, I was a bit, bit, a bit of a waste of uh, yeah. <laughs> police. Yeah. Usage, but oh well. Yeah, that seems a bit. I guess he was just having fun, like. Corrupt, but yeah. Um, but that's cool. That was a fun trip for you, man. I yeah, was supposed yeah, to be there, jokes. but apparently, I wanted too much money. <laughs> but I was just saying it to, so they barter me, and they'd be like, yeah, "Oh you no, want, you wanted to haggle," and they were yeah, like, oh, okay. but they were like, "No, too much. We get someone else." Uh, uh, the money was right. Yeah, you've done a few competitions throughout the years. I remember doing one in Detroit with you. Did you yeah. compete in Russia? No. You didn't compete, were you judging? Well, we did like a little time trial. Time trial? They had like a speed round. Oh yeah? You go like there and back, it was like one long line. Cool. Of random like bars and walls. How was that? That was quite fun. And then... Um, How did you do in that? Did you? I have no idea. No I don't know where I placed. Oh, okay. And then they did um, like a creative round and it was just absolutely mental. You know what the Russians are like? Mm. Ridiculous. All these downward dive rolls. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why they're doing downward dive rolls, man. Crazy. That bike guy is <laughs> yeah. pretty pretty good at them. Jumping onto his shins on rails. Yeah, he, yeah. he loves it. What's your views on competitions? Fun, I just don't have the nerve. Yeah, different I'm sure I'm sure people enjoy it. Yeah, 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 I think yeah. I don't think there's any moral obligation to not compete. I don't know why people, some people think that, but mm -hmm. I just don't have the nerve for it. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult can't, can't motivate myself. A, yeah, there's a pressure that's not with parkour, especially the way you came up training. It's a very internal pressure. I want to do yeah, this for not, me. Yeah, it's not intrinsic. Yeah, yeah. whereas like, when you're in the competition, it's like I've, you've got to wait, 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 wait. The pressure build, and there's a energy in the area of other people, yeah. nerves and things, and it's like you have to go, and it makes such a big moment out of a small, yeah. out of this one minute of your life. It puts a lot of pressure on it, and it, it's strange. It's <coughs> exactly. It's, it sucks of, you of some energy sometimes. I like the yeah. very objective pressure of. Well, I did. I've kind of. Yeah. Oh, well, as, as we learned today, I'm, I'm scared of heights now, actually, somehow. Yeah, apparently. But, um, <laughs> apparently, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like the intrinsic, like, objective pressure of yeah. doing a jump high up. Like, yeah. you, you have to make it because if you don't, you're going to fall down and hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in competition, it's kind of like, do I do I really have to do this? No. I, might, I might just do a cartwheel over there. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just don't get the motive for it. Really. Yeah, yeah, okay. How's um, your father, Ryan Boyle? I don't know. You see him? <laughs> you see He's probably collecting gold. <laughs> <laughs> that guy does collect gold. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I haven't spoken to him. That's, okay. I've, I've been a bit out of the loop. 
That's cool. I've spoken to many it's people right. recently. Uh, follow your heart, right? Just do what you enjoy day to day. I think that's a good way to live. I respect that approach. And then you joined Storm at some point. Uh, we've not done two, we've not done loads of projects together. We nah. just let you do your thing in Cambridge. I've just been a bit absent. Yeah, but Chilling. it's all right. Do you think we did uh, the get the did the hats video recently? Did the hats video recently, and before that we did the Storm Olympics. Vol- the did Storm Volume Two as well. Yeah, did we? Yeah. No, not Storm Volume Two. Storm Origins. Sorry. You did Origins. You were re- really Origins. good in that. That was a really cool video. Legs on fire. That was. That was fun. That was. Was that real? It was good fun. Well. My legs weren't on fire, but yeah, my trousers were. Yeah, yeah. With like loads of leg protection and then gel. But yeah. it's, it is hot. So was that a good experience? How many days hot. shooting was that? I think it was quite spread out like over like a month or two. Okay. With Ma- Matthias? Quite a lot of filming. Oh, well. yeah. How's he? He was only here for like a week. Okay, did you meet him there? Yeah, yeah. Is he a cool guy? Yeah, he's cool. Matthew you got to pronounce it in a French Mathieu. accent. They've got a French name, you got to say it like, yeah. like you're French. Good old Claudio Voicu on the direction there. Yeah. Pretty filming, good with his vision. I think, well. I think that's an amazing video, and that, that even just a little bit of action and the music in that. I yeah. think that's one of the blue throwing some film. Yeah, blue did some sick stuff in that video. That guy steps it up. When yeah, he to. It's amazing. beautiful cork on fire. That is, just, Over that is an amazing. That shot. is such a good shot, isn't it? it? Is. Some that is. classic cinematography. I wonder if that will get recognised beyond the parkour community. I know it got good views, but like in years to come, I think that really has got to be looked back mean, on. Yeah, as like, yeah, yeah, yeah. From like extreme sports and do yes or anything like that. I mean, yeah, it's pretty. I think there's so much going and, and on. It's, and it's just a lovely shot, like regardless of the move, it's just. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's really sick. spot on, that's really cool. Cali shot me. With. He's not a nice guy, is he? Oh, at the end, you get yeah, killed. Yeah, shot off. me, man. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty it's funny. not fair, really, like. <laughs> yeah, so what are you doing now, Philip Doyle? <coughs> Philip Matthew Doyle. Um, Still I'm living in Cambridge? Still living in Cambridge. Mm. Got a lovely house just down the road. Mm-hmm. Beautiful garden. Nice. Shit speakers, unfortunately. Need to get some new speakers. <laughs> um, Where are you working? I work at a cafe. I'm a barrister. Well, I'm not. I'm not like a qualified barrister. Okay. But I do make better coffee than most barristers. So okay. I'll say that. Um, and a restaurant, waiting tables. So you work at two different places? Yeah. And you just enjoy that and just train around Cambridge and play well, basketball? I, and... Yeah, I enjoy spending money, so I have to, I have to work quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Humble, yeah. Humble training, driving. training yeah. a bit. Not as much as I used to. I don't yeah. know. I just can't. Used to go out about ten in the morning, train till like ten at night. Yeah. And go do some Great. night missions. Like. It's passion changes though, doesn't it? Over yeah. time, and sometimes you'll have a better session once a week than going out every day. Oh, I still, I like still, I still to. want to train. It's just when I when I do train, I'll train for about two, three hours. Mm-hmm. A lot more kind of, I don't know, not focused, but just. Trying to do things that are new, like I used to drill things that I've done before. I yeah, kind of, yeah. I've all lost of that, motivation. Right? Yeah, I, I feel that. I only get motivation if it's something new that I've wanted to do for a while. Cool. And you do a bit of tricking as well now. Dabble. 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 <laughs> I get bored quicker tricking. Okay. But like often I'll be just like chilling on a field or whatever, and I'll throw a few flips. Throw a few flips. Try yeah. and try and up the game, but I just end up doing the same things I always do. Cool. And going forward, is there anything you want to do with free running or with your life, with anything else in life or like? I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah. Just enjoying just enjoy every, every day yeah. as it comes. Yeah. Cool. Fine music. All right, that's that's one way to live. That's I need cool, a computer man. first though. Yeah. And then, yeah, fine music. Yeah, computer with a keyboard, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, everyone's got laptops these days, haven't they? Yeah. Just yeah, typing they, away. That's true. All right. I can only think of so many questions. I'm just one guy. Yeah. But you post it on Facebook and Twitter and you get the whole parkour community asking <laughs> you questions. Wicked. What have we got for you, Philip? I'll start with a bit of Twitter. <laughs> Word up, brother. No, that's not a question. That, there's no, there's no it's signal. Not, it's not even yeah. rhetorical. That's just <laughs> it's, 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 it's a statement. Jordan basketball shorts. His name Are the only way to shorts. go, right? No. He's saying Jordan basketball shorts are the only way to go, correct? Ah, uh, a mate of mine. Are you wearing basketball shorts? I, right I now? went swimming in the river. Yeah. I've lost those shorts. I'm devastated. <laughs> swimming in the river on Grantchester, and we were cycling back, and I didn't have time to dry my shorts. They're like, you know, how some like material just soaks up water, and yeah. it take like so long to dry. Yeah. So I chucked them in my friend's basket, and um, he lives around the corner from me. But his housemate, I'm pretty sure, threw them away. 
because they were wet. And they Threw them away in the yeah, water. Yeah, he pinned them. That's a pretty mean. Oh, no. It's just a pair of shorts. That's a though. theory, though. I'm not. I'm okay. not inspecting more, so I don't actually okay. know. But okay. That's my idea. I'm pretty sure okay. he threw them away because they're not in the garden now. Okay. Is Mario or Luigi better? Or on Mario Kart? Or in general? Yeah, well, you can, yeah, if that's your reference to Mario and Luigi. I think Luigi, I don't support the underdog, but Mario is just too big. Like, yeah. He needs to slow down. If it is Mario Kart, who do you choose? I am. Um, Diddy Kong. That's my character. Nah. If we're playing nah. against Diddy you know, Kong. And I've forgotten what car I use. Dolphin Dash. You're not even on a bike. Oh, you're a Nah, new, nah, man. I don't have a bike. I like my steering. Yeah, because you can't play the game. <laughs> Honestly. Would you play on manual or automatic? Always manual. Oh, then you're just you're just a don. I don't know. A bike and manual. You don't oh, deal with that nonsense, okay, okay. It doesn't man. matter. It doesn't matter. It's all right, Phil. We just can't <laughs> race together. <coughs> Whatever. No. I'll, learn I'll let you choose. I've got, I've got you, it at home. You but... can choose my character and my vehicle. Hi, Phil. Long time fan. First time person asking questions anyway, mate. I really need your help, so I'm babysitting my neighbour's rare iguana, Brian. And he was... Wasn't doing fuck off, so I thought he might have what? been hungry. So I picked us up a subway, and he's hardly touched it. His <laughs> meatball marinara. Now I'm scared he's dead, or he's gonna tell my neighbour she's fit. And I was hoping this would Celia the Delia. <laughs> if he's dead, should I just own up, or maybe hang a tiny iguana-sized noose around his head and pretend he took the easy way out? <laughs> please, Phil. Please, they're back from Asda in 20 minutes. <laughs> that is. That is quite funny. Lee that is Edge quite Malone. funny. Respect. I hope you're. Have you got a solution for this guy and his iguana? His fit neighbour's iguana that won't eat the meatball. I, I don't know what iguanas eat, but not. I don't eat Subway. No. Fucking disgusting. It's pretty bad. It's just, although meatball marinara is the best Subway, hands down. They, they claim food of champions. Definitely. I don't believe them and their slogans. Apparently, McDonald's claim we're loving it. Did you know Subway? Uh, yeah can't toast their sandwiches after midnight because they haven't got the license. You need a license? Who needs a license? Yeah, exactly. That's it an, ends at midnight. That's an interesting fact. <laughs> Did Ben steal your socks or you stole Ben's socks? I remember that. I think I stole Those his. are my socks. I steal everyone's socks. Man. How's you? How's it with These WFPF? Are mine. I forgot to ask you. How's WFPF? You're doing much with them? Uh, went to Russia with Victor. That, yeah. was, that was like... I don't know how much that was Russia or WFPF. Yeah, or, okay. Would you like know. being a part of them? You like that? I'm, I'm impartial. You're impartial. Not not much is happening. No, but do you, but some people I think think WFPF are like some rich businessmen coming in. Is They're that, not. Is that the case? Victor works hard. They man. genuinely work hard, and I think they genuinely Lee's care. This audio. Book. This is them, yeah. This is a KO hat, by the way. But they Just do trying to help them out. They do. Uh, they they do care about parkour and they care about doing it in it a way that keeps the integrity of the sport that doesn't just sell it out. A lot more than I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For a dime, would you spit a rhyme? Toby Seeger, thank you. Well, I'd spit a rhyme for 10p, not dime. This is England. Dime. Go. I just said, not for a dime. I'm not in America. Yeah, 10p. 10p. Um, Professor Longhair in caps lock, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> what? And one person liked it. Thank you, Andre Martinez Diaz. <laughs> When are you coming back to LA? Hazard Doyle. Um, Ooh, Hazard Doyle. Is that your relative as well? No. I have no idea. Hazard Doyle. Maybe. Some point mm. soon. Um, I want to go to Miami again. The climate there is amazing. What's the point of life? B big question. To live. How do you live? Well, you breathe, your heart beats. Okay. You consume food and liquids. I think that's all you need to do, really. Everything else is up to you. Mm -hmm. It's optional. Who's your favourite tracer to train with or watch? What, train with or watch? Or train with and watch? Or watch. You can name two. Like, are name different one. to train with and to watch? I agree, they're very different, but you might not have one in one field and you might have someone you want to train with, but there's no one that's your favourite to watch. Yeah, no, I reckon it's a different person. Yeah, yeah, okay. My so favourite person to train with, I have no idea, and that's a bit favouritism. My mum taught me right. Okay. But to watch, uh, Greg Luganis. He's not a tracer, but have you okay. seen his dives? Um, As a diver? He's lit literally perfect, like flawless. It's insane. Okay. It's like, Is he it's like, in the Red Bull diving competition? No, nah, he's old school. He's old school, okay. Yeah, so he's quite old now, I think. 
Sick. But literally, you watch his dives. And Search on YouTube. How do you spell his surname? Greg L O U Gay. Gay G. L O U G A N I S. I think. Okay. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. 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 He's like he's like a world class diver, but it's just he do like triple gainer, like three and a half gainers to dive, but just like perfect. That's pretty good. Absolutely perfect. Is it true you work in a zoo? No. Josh asked, when is the bowl making a comeback? <laughs> what the hair do? Probably never. I think he meant the hair do. I yeah. finally learnt that um, if you don't get your hair cut the same length all the way around, when it grows longer, it doesn't turn into a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> It was so um, funny when I found out. I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> yes. How do you see the future with parkour? So, what do you see the future of the sport? I guess? People jumping around on stuff. Yeah. I, th I think that's all you can say. I'm not going to speculate. Yeah. I don't know. It might. It might get bigger in the media and things. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got like skate shops. You mm -hmm. might have parkour shops. I think you will. You reckon? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Merch. The only the Parkour only danger merch. with the sport is as it grows and more people more and more people do it, it's going to be harder and harder to do it as authentically in city centres, and then you're going to be forced onto parks, which then changes the passion of the sport. So, whereas people that would have done the, the personalities that would have done the sport previously growing up might not do the sport now because mm. the, it's a different emotion doing it in a park that's built for it compared to when you're doing it yeah. when it's not built. For I, it. th I think maybe I prefer if it didn't grow too much. I, I kind of agree. It stayed, but, stayed yeah. as it is. Mm. But you never know, do you? Like, can't say who's going to be interested in it. Mm. Why do you not upload many videos to a YouTube channel? We don't see much of you anymore. Sad face, Bradley Ashton. <coughs> um, I didn't film anything for about two years. Mm -hmm. well, I, have, I have been filming. Oh, really? I've got like 12 clips. I don't actually know. 12 clips right now. 12 clips. And I'm counting, getting there. and counting. So probably How many do you want to make? 2016, I'll have a video. Yeah. I'll have a video for everyone, yeah. All right. I'm taking it slow. Put it in your calendars. <laughs> That's good, though. The best videos come out over a long time. No, no pressure. Right? No, yeah. hopefully not too long. Although, I, cool. I think I've said about six months ago. I thought okay. I'll, I want to have a video out by that July, mm. before summer. Then I can enjoy summer. But instead, cool. I enjoyed summer. And uh, cool. I only filmed a little bit. Callum Powell asked me on Vine, I don't know why you're asking me on Vine, Callum. What's Vine? It's like another social network. How many, like how many social networks are there? <laughs> Bloody hell. But he's saying, Jesus Christ. how's your diet, Phil? Pretty good. Non-dairy. Dairy-free. Why did you stop the dairy? Um, I don't know. I just don't think it's good for me. It messes with my skin. And it's kind of like, it's too Moorish for me. If I have a bowl of cereal or milk, I will eat the whole box. Mm -hmm. every, every time. <laughs> every single time. And it's... It doesn't make sense, right? Okay. We don't eat our mum's milk after we're what? Like how, how old? When do you stop? When do you Three, stop breastfeeding? Maybe two. Unless yeah. your mum's like really possessive and you breastfeed till like ten and yeah. you're completely fucked for your whole life. Yeah. But um, but why why are we drinking cow's milk? I don't understand it. Yeah. It's like an odd Western thing. I'm sure it's not that bad for you, but it's not good for you. But yeah. There's a lot of. I've been told as well. You know, everyone says, "Oh, there's lots of calcium in the milk." Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's no. something in it. There is lots of calcium in milk, but there's something in it which depletes your intake of calcium. Yeah. Something it's like that. It's actually not good, yeah. yeah. I, I so you don't actually mean. get, you get more calcium from almonds and things like that. Or spinach. Almond, almond milk's the one. Or just water. Almond milk. All my housemates friends just like, hate me. They mock me for eating cereal or water, but I, it's not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. <laughs> if the cereal's sweet enough, if you have oats and water, bad. it's not good though. No, you couldn't have like cocoa pops with water. Uh -huh. but you can have like granola and things like that, it's fine. Or yeah. hot water and it's nice, it's like peng berry porridge. What if you like just mash up some banana in there as well? Yeah, like, you could do that. Banana milk. I don't do that. Why isn't it? I guess banana milkshake. But, you know, you get like peanut, it's called peanut punch. You get almond milk. Peanut, yeah. Peanut is peanut punch. And hazelnut, and hazelnut, hazelnut, hazelnut drink. Hazelnut, hazelnut drink. Yeah. yeah. It's madness. And what about the rest of your diet? Vegetables, fruit? Do you have a favourite fruit? Mango. 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 Then blueberries. Then blueberries. But I don't That's a nice colour that spectrum much. right there. <laughs> Choose another. What's your favourite red fruit? You've got a purple. I'd, like, and I'd rather have like a red pepper or something. I don't, oh, I don't really? really like strawberries or raspberries. No. No, rather Cherry, cherries. Than strawberries. Cherries, I like, but for some reason they're the one thing I've never bought in my life. You never bought Do cherries. You know I mean? I've never bought cherries. Right. Or lychees or. Oh, lychees are good. Or. Yeah. 
Yeah. But I work in a cafe, so I drink it. smoothies quite often. What do you put in the bananas? I'll, I'll accidentally Kiwi. make too much for a customer. Okay. Oh, wow, that's mine, sweet. <laughs> Tactic for all of you people that work in them. Um, I'm sure they will do it. Cafe, yeah, they probably know it. Yeah. All right, I think that sums it up with your old smoothie stealing techniques. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching this interview. We've been filming in Cambridge with Philip D. That's not right, is it, Philip D? Philip D. Philip D. No. King of Cambridge, that. taking over. I'm not a king of Cambridge. <laughs> I don't agree with monarchy. I don't agree with monarchy. No, right? I, I don't I agree with monarchy. Yeah, you don't agree with monarchy? It's nonsense. No, or hierarchy. What about matriarchy? I'm a Marxist, mate. Okay. I'm joking, I'm not. But um, I do think things should be more equal. Yeah. And after that, it's probably pretty much impossible. Do you think happened. your Russian blood has helped you have a strong body? Or do you think there's nothing to do with that? Maybe. My bones are definitely very strong and big. <laughs> like my wrists are massive. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. Could be helps. the old. I don't know. I've only, only broken both my hands. There's my lovely knuckle. Oh, that it's is really crazy. Pretty. Show them that one. Yeah. Stay, keep that away from me, though. Don't swing on bars if they're not sturdy. Especially oh, if yeah. it's above industrial concrete. Yeah. And like 14 feet I was high. there that day. Yeah, we did that. We didn't even talk about that. That was horrible. If we'd run a job for Coca-Cola, burn. Yeah. And you... They had that drink in Croatia, the music festival I went to. Did they? Did you drink yeah. it? No. Well, not energy drinks are disgusting. No. There you go. But I was like, oh, well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. But this guy went off on his own, swung on a bar, and it wasn't insecure yet because the people that secured it had no. But I, I checked idea. it like two hours before. Yeah. And it it was rolling, and I was like, yeah, that's not strong. Can you fix it? Mm. And then they they said they'd fix it. Their method of fixing was not. And then I, to... I was just stupid because obviously on that job you need to you... be like responsible, health and safety. I just went off and checked it by myself without telling anyone. Mm. And then I'm guessing you like came out of the corner and I was just not. You was on the floor. floor. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty out of it. Oops. <laughs> um, and then Kai had to W for the rest yeah. of it. <laughs> that was but brilliant. It was it was a cool trip just for Yeah, it that. was it was wicked. Before that, I even enjoyed. Did some I was big hike drop like five days before. Yeah, you were there for a while. You just going out for meals with the director and. Uh, Cool. Producer. Cool. Trying to find location. In Bucharest. Yeah. Romania. Beautiful country, beautiful women. Pretty healthy. There's not many fat people in Romania. And techno's their pop music. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That sums it up. In Romania, pop music is techno. <laughs> so shopping is way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Thank you for that, Philip. Sweet. Video's coming soon. Flow. Interactive game. 2016. His own reel. video, 2016. Philip Doyle Showreel. Show what a bowl reel. if... Josh really wants it to be called that. Yes, the bowl. Yeah, love from me, love from the bowl. Keep doing what you're doing. For I'm writing a book, by the way. Dish in the dirt, all for Laurie. I'm only going to make one copy. You can't read it. Sorry, guys. All right, but I'm giving it to Laurie. Sorry, I'll see what I can do with a photocopy. <laughs> all right, peace.